Hello, my friends, and welcome to Paulina Art. Today, I'm going to be painting this pretty Christmas scene. I'm going to show you step by step how to paint this beautiful forest, how to draw and paint the deer. If you would like to see how I created this Christmas painting, stay with me and let's paint together. The colors that I'm using today are titanium white, lamp black, ultramarine blue, purple, burnt sienna, burnt amber or brown, and yellow ochre. And I'm using my Montmartre acrylic paint. I'm going to link below on the description box all the reviews that I've done for this paint. But of course, you can use any acrylic paint you have at home. Today, I'm working on a 9 by 12 canvas that I have primed with white gesso and a drop of red just to give the canvas some color. Also, the gesso helps with the acrylic paint so the canvas doesn't absorb so much of the paint. Okay, I'm going to start by drawing a line in the center here. This is just going to help me do a quick sketch and I'm going to go in the middle this way. So I have four quadrants of approximately the same size. This orange blob here is my cat, one of my cats. She likes to keep me company when I'm painting. Okay, so in this um, in these two quadrants, I'm going to draw a line about a third of the way here. And I'm going to come up here as well, about a third of this quadrant. Now I'm going to draw a line here. And this is going to be my horizon, the horizon line. And the meadow is going to open from here. This is going to be the space, the sky around here. And then the meadow is going to open. I'm going to zigzagging my line coming to the corner and here as well, like that. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to start by painting the back here, this area that's going to be the sky. And I'm going to use purple, white, and a small drop of black. So I have a light purpley gray that I have mixed with the white, purple, and black. And I'm going to uh, paint this area. almost like an oval. This is where the, the sky is, the night sky. And I'm going to darken this color by adding more and uh, more purple and more black, just small amounts, small amounts at a time. And I'm adjusting, adjusting the color to so make sure it's what I want. And with a clean brush, I just rinsed it. I'm going to blend up a bit these colors. I'm zig zigzagging and blending them a bit. Now I'm going to add more white in here. I want it a bit lighter in the center. and then darker around the light part. I keep adjusting my colors to create the halo effect 
for the night sky. You can paint the edges of the canvas if you like. I'm going to add a bit lighter in here and then darker out here. And blending with a clean brush. Okay, I'm going to leave the sky like this for now, and I'm going to start defining the land. And here's my girl, Clara. Hi, Clara. Hey, Clara. Say hello. Say hello, baby. Okay, she's a little shy now. Okay, so I have blue with white and black. I created a light blue-gray. And I'm going to define the metal here. So it's coming from here. And I'm just going to zigzag in this area where, where the land is going to be, and on this side as well. So it gets wider as it comes to the edges, the edges of the canvas. And these are horizontal lines mainly, because this is going to define the land. And I'm going to start painting this with white. I'm mixing the white with the gray and blue, but I want the lighter at the back here in the horizon. And darker as it comes down. This is a snow on the metal. I'm using a round brush, the same brush. You can use uh, whatever brush you like, whatever is easier for you. This is an old brush, old round brush and it works great just for just about anything. Okay, so I'm adding mounds of s snow in here just by adding more white. And like I said, this up here, I want this to be the lighter on the, on the back here. And darker as we come to the front. But we want some light as well. We don't want all one color. Several shades of our blue with white and a small amount of black. Okay, okay, this is how it's looking. And I'm going to paint the land with more, more blue than, than white. It has to be darker than, than the meadow here. And again, I want this land lighter on the back. And a little bit darker as it gets um, closer to us. I want to see a difference between the meadow here and the vegetation on the side. I don't want it to be the same color, but a slight difference. And I'm adding more blue and more black as I get closer to the front, just to create uh, more dimension to the painting. As we're closer in here, we can see the land darker. Not too dark, but um, so we can we can see the difference between the back and the front. And again, you can do the sides of your canvas if you like. Well, at least carry the paint to the edge of the canvas. 
I'm going to clean it up a bit here. Open up the metal. This is how it's looking now. I'm going to use a small flat brush. This was from a very inexpensive set from Michaels. And this was uh, the smaller, smaller one from the set. And I have blue, white, and a little drop of black on my brush to create this, um, this blue color. I want the lighter's blue in here. Let's see how this looks. I still want to see it. So these are going to be some pine trees that get lost on the horizon. So I'm going to start by adding just some lines to define, define the height of these pine trees. And they're going to be smaller towards the center of the meadow. And I'm going to start lightly dabbing with the side of the brush to create the effect of the tree. I don't want to block the whole thing because you can see, you can see through the pine trees. Make sure we see the points. You can go back and redo them like this. Okay, and here with the side of the brush. Just make sure they are not completely covered. I want to see a little bit through them and I can add some smaller ones in there. Like that. I'm going to make this color darker by adding more blue and more black, just a little bit at a time. And I'm going to do more trees in here. Again, I'm deciding where the trees are going to go. And these are going to be larger, taller than these guys to create the illusion of distance. Okay. And again, with the side of my brush, I'm going to dab to create the branches. I don't want a lot of detail because these trees are on the distance, so you can't really see a lot of detail. Just dabbing the brush, creating the foliage of the trees. I'm going to add more trees in here. Again, I'm going to make them darker than the previous ones with more blue and black. Because it's nighttime, these trees look very dark. They don't look green look more black. I'm going to start bringing, bringing them towards this way as well. Maybe one, one more in here. This one has more blue, more blue than black, which is fine. We can have a little bit of um, difference in color. They don't all have to be the same. Okay, now I have some uh, blue gray, a different shade because I'm mixing 
the colors randomly. And I'm going to add some, just dabbing my brush. It's gonna be different kind of trees and vegetation here. It's a little too light. I wanna add more, more blue in here. And I can add some of these in here. This can be bushes. Okay, and I'm leaving some, some areas open, some areas that can be ground, and other areas um, just adding the idea of vegetation. And I'm just playing with the colors here, trying to create some, some nice vegetation, the idea of it really. Okay, I have now the same grayish blue but I have more white on the brush. It's a very, very light gray. And I'm going to start adding the effect of snow on these distant trees. So I'm very lightly tapping here, creating the effect of the snow on these large, large trees. And I'm not covering the, the whole tree. I'm only doing it on the side of the light, which is the center here. So I want light on this side of the tree and light on this side of the tree, not on the whole tree. Because if I cover the whole tree, it's not going to have that dimension. It's very gently, very gently, so I don't cover the whole tree with with white. I'm going to add the same in this one. So I'm adding a little more white to the same uh, color. Just so they, they show a little bit more, because they are closer to us. And if you have too much, you can pick up a flat brush and just pick up a little bit like that. Because I want the points of the trees very very sharp makes them look much prettier okay so i'm adding yet a touch more more white still not white white just a little bit just a little bit more on this ones and i'm also leaving darkness on the tree and also mainly at the top, I want to leave a little bit of darkness at the bottom to give that sense of depth and dimension. Look what a beautiful Christmas setting already. Looks like nice forest in the winter. I have um, more blue in here. You can add some in this um, bushes at the bottom.
adding a little bit of light here on these branches, but not, not too much light, like a blue-gray. These are leaves of other trees. And this is how it's looking. Now, with a fine liner brush, I'm going to start doing tree trunks of the trees that are in front. And I have here a medium gray that I mix with black and white. And let's see if this color will work. And basically, I'm just going to decide where I want the other trees to go. And with my liner brush, I'm going to just start creating the trees in here. I'm going to add branches. Basically, I'm going to let the, the liner brush to guide me. Trees look very pretty with lots of branches and they can come on top of the ones behind and here and as they get closer and closer to to this area closer to us i want to add more more black make them a little bit darker the ones that are closer and it doesn't matter how my branches go Just be um, creative with your branches. Make them move and break and overlap. And I'm going to put some on this side. And this will give me an idea of where I have to put the rest of the leaves. I'm just ever so lightly pressing with the tip of the brush, letting the brush do its thing. And then we, we can do some branches as well instead of whole trees you can do branches coming up like that looks pretty as well some of the trunks can be lighter if they're further back and i have uh, a lot of more white on this with a black. I'm going to do some lighter branches. Do some lighter branches popping from here. Just to add some, some dimension. Okay, and with a very light gray, I'm adding more white on the gray. I'm going to add some snow on the trees. Some of the branches. want it to look nice and snowy. You can add some snow where the snow accumulates on the branches. Just a touch like that. I'm 
And then this forest and meadow it starts taking uh, some life when you start playing with um, shadow and lights. But don't use white white just yet. We'll save that for for the final touches. Besides, this is nighttime, so we don't want uh, to be super super bright yet, just yet. And put a little bit on the side of the trees, like that, to create some uh, some light. I'm going to go back into the round brush. I'm just going to add effect of shadows in here, but I also want some lighter areas. where the, the light comes through. I'm back to my small flat brush. And I'm just going to dab, adding some, some leaves with the same colors, blue, white, and black. And I can add some uh, vegetation at the bottom here so the trees don't look so the tree trunks standing just like that we want to add vegetation in here we can add we can flick the brush create effects of grass like this See how nice, just, I'm just pressing and flicking the brush, just like that. And I can also add some poking from the snow, because after all, this is a meadow. And I have white, I can add some, some very white as well. Places where the the light is shining. I'm just gonna blend if I don't like it so so bright. And I'm going to pick up just black with the liner brush. And I can add some branches in on this on this side. And these are going to be black because they're really close to us, so they are much much darker. And you can be as creative as, as you want with the vegetation on, on your painting. I'm going to add some highlight as if there's some, some snow. This is a light gray just with um, white and black. And I'm going to add it where the snow would normally accumulate on the branches. Okay, this is how the painting is looking like. Like a beautiful Christmas scene in the woods. Um, what I'm going to do now is we're going to draw the deer stag right in here. Okay, and I'm gonna show you step by step how to do it. Okay, so the first thing is to decide where the stag deer is going to be and he's going to be right in here okay so i'm going to draw a rectangle right in here 
This is a rectangle, not a square. Okay, like that. Okay, and here there's going to be a nice big Christmas tree. So I'm going to just show where the tree is going to be, okay? Like that, okay? You don't have to do this tree if you don't want to, but I'm going to. Okay, so to do this tag, we're going to divide this, the top part, in three equal parts as equal as you can do them. And I'm going to bring them down, okay? So these are going to be squares, not rectangles. So there's gonna be three this way and four coming this way, okay? So they are, these are more like squares. Now, if you're not good at drawing, you can do this on a piece of paper and then trace it onto your painting or you can find a nice photo of a deer and just trace it in here not a big deal but i'm going to show you how i'm going to bring these squares a little bit higher so i want this tag to be a little bit higher see the nice thing with um chalk is you can change you can change anything you want now the face is going to be in here going to be a triangular shape like this okay then one ear is coming here they have big ears the other ear is this way I'm gonna go over this with paint so you can see it better then the neck is coming down to this square right in there okay and here is the body, okay, and I'm going to do his bum, it's going to come up and down, like that, okay, the belly is going to come in here, and the legs are going to come down here. I'm going to do a lot of um, vegetation. In, in here, like that. Okay, and in this upper part, we're going to do the antlers. Now the antlers have to be somewhat similar one to the other. And we're gonna bring them up to here and here, here and here. And these squares really, really help us This square can really help us when we're doing our our drawing. Okay, maybe you can't see it that great here, but, but I'm gonna trace this with my liner brush. Okay, with my liner brush, I have picked up some brown, and I'm going to trace the image, okay? So the head is right in here, in the second from the center square this is the first square in the center is on the second one and because my liner brush is much finer than the chalk i'm going to be able to do a much a much nicer job here so this is his head and the face here he's looking at the christmas tree okay this is going to be the nose in here and the eye is going to be right in here like that and one ear is coming in here deer have nice large ears then the other ear is going to be facing this way because he's um it's looking that way, like that. Can make this one a little bit larger, I guess. Okay, now here is the neck. And the neck comes to this, um, the neck comes down to the third square. 
and it comes down like like a V like this okay and then the chest opens up a little bit like this and then here is the belly the belly comes a little bit halfway through that square and up like this and then the back of his bum is here I'm going to add some tail in here that I can see. Okay, and here's one of the legs. They have muscular but skinny legs. Okay, and we're going to add some vegetation and stuff in here. And then one leg is here. And the other one in here. Try to make them about the same so they don't look so um, different. And I'm going to add the antlers, some nice antlers in here. Now he said it's turning, so they're not going to be exactly the same. Like that, okay. like that okay so this is how we built we built him on these uh, squares like i was saying if if you have difficulty drawing this is a very easy way of doing it you can also do it on a piece of paper and trace it here now we're going to add a little detail like this is um where the muscles come like that and they have musculature in here i'm not going to worry about that too much okay once this is dry i'm going to remove the chalk with a dry brush all these lines that i don't need anymore Okay, so this is how the painting is looking now. Okay, I'm going to use a very small round brush and I have here yellow ochre with white and I'm going to, I'm going to cover the deer with this because I don't want to see any of the blue underneath. But I'm still going to leave some of those, um, the lines that define my deer because I don't want to to lose my drawing and have just a big blob of yellow ochre in here. This is going to help me paint him. And this yellow ochre covers covers beautifully because yellow ochre is very opaque. All right. It's always a good idea to have a clean damp brush to clean if, if you went over like I did here. You can paint your deer a little bit higher on the painting if you prefer but this is where mine ended up i'm 
sparklers as well. I'm going to start building the colors with brown, yellow ochre, and burnt sienna. So I have the dark brown in here. I'm going to add some of the dark brown in here just to create some dimension on his um, body. And some in around here. Where the muscles of the animal are. I don't want to be like super, super detailed or anything because I just want it to be more like a loose, loose painting. The legs are going to be darker. And I'm going to add some light on the back because the light is coming from here. I'm going to add some light in here. This is a uh, white with yellow ochre. And a little bit of white in here. I just want to the colors the colors to blend with each other. I'm going to put some light inside the ear, a little bit light on the head. I don't want to see any of those lines that I drew to the animal that I, that I drew the deer. I don't want to see them. So I'm going to try to cover them as much as I can. I'm going to put some light color around the eye, like that, and around the nose. And we're going to put some light on the tips of the antlers. And so they, they pop. Some of the same light yellow crown white on top of the head like here and here and here okay oh, pretty is looking mm -hmm. a little bit in there i'm now going to use burnt sienna this is a very beautiful orangey brown. And I'm just going to to blend with some yellow ochre here. I'm 
And I'm going to use the same burnt sienna around here. I'm just uh, playing with the colors here, make it look um, pretty. And again, I want to blend a bit these colors. And I can always go back and add more, more of the light colors if I'm covering them too much. Okay. Put a little bit of light and a slider color in here. More yellow ochre. Just creating the shape of the body with this um, with the colors. Have brown in here to create the, a little bit of the mus musculature of the this animal. Just play with your colors. If you don't like it, you can always. Um, go over them, let it dry, go over. But I think it's looking good. I don't want this painting to be super detailed. I want it more, more loose and painterly. I have mixed a dark, very dark brown with brown and black. I'm going to add the details on the face. I'm going to add the eye here. like that very very simple and the nose i want to leave a little bit of shine on the nose like that okay i'm going to do a little bit around the ears in here find the in the ears in here Like that. Okay. I'm going to add some some brown in here to create more dimension on the antlers, just at the bottom. Like that. lighter brown in there okay okay i have some white i'm going to add just a tad more at the tip of the antlers just a more little bit more highlight in there And a little bit on the tip of the ears and a little bit in here Just a little bit in there and some more on the eye and a little bit on the shiny nose and I'm going to add some white in here on the tail, like that. Mm -hmm. I can always touch up where I think I need it. Like 
And that's a little bit of hair in here. Just with a yellow ochre, I'm adding the illusion of um, the, the fur. And a little bit of um, fur like that with some some white and yellow ochre, just a little bit. We're going to do the Christmas tree now. And for that, I'm going to use the same small flat brush. And I have a very, very dark blue. And the Christmas tree is going to be smaller at the top and getting wider towards the bottom. I'm just going to start dabbing here with this brush. Now I don't want to cover everything. I want to see some of this nice work that I did on the on the side. And I'm making the branches coming out a little bit more towards um, the bottom like this. Just like these trees are, they're smaller at the top, they get, they get larger. They get larger and towards the bottom. This is just blue with white. Okay, we have our tree there. I'm going to add a drop of white to this color, just a drop. I'm going to add some highlights in here. I'm not going to cover all my darkness, all the dark I've done. Sometimes you want to pull down a little bit like this. You press and pull, can create a nice um, effect of the branches. But don't cover all the darkness. Okay, and now we're going to add more white to this color. And I'm going to add some on the, kind of from the third up. In here, a little bit of the this lighter color. That's to give the tree some dimension. Then I have more white in there. And I add the effect of um, snow on the tree. We're gonna let this tree dry for a minute. And while that is drying, we're going to add more branches in here. So, so the deer is not exposed. I'm just gonna start from anywhere. Maybe from the corner like this. This will add the effect, the effect of nature more so. And I'm using my liner brush, just like I did earlier. We can do some branches, even coming in front of him. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to mess up your painting because you're not going to. You can always change things if you don't like them. Okay, going to add some white again. Create the effect of snow in here. And you can use the white white at this point because, because these are the branches right in front. So that is okay. Okay, I'm going to put some Christmas lights on this tree, but I'm going to keep it very um, in tune with nature. So they're just going to be blue and white. And I'm going to put like little stars. Like this. And 
and I'm doing with the white color. And then once with the white, I'm going to add in the dark areas of the tree. So basically I do like a um, cross and then again create this um, effect of stars. If you think this is too much, with the back of the brush, you can just add little dots like this. That will look nice too. Or you can place them and then turn them into stars. Whatever you like. Or you can put colorful dots if you want to, red and blue. I'm going to add some blue in there, some pale blue stars. like that once you do a few and you lose you lose the fear then they'll be okay at first you think oh this is too hard but but it's not trust me just just do it Like that. Maybe I'll try some darker blue. Let's see the darker blue can go on the on the snow. My paint is still wet. Better to wait. Okay. Okay, my friends, the painting is almost done. I'm going to put here the Christmas star and it's going to be right in the center here. And I'm going to use an angled brush because I find this is easier for me. The star is going to be right in here at the center. So I'm just going to do a line like this and I can clean up if it's not exactly how I want it. And I'm using white, plain white for this. And it's like a cross. Okay, I can perfect it with, with my liner brush after. And then I'm going to go this way and, and this way. Okay, I can perfect it now with my liner brush. I want to make sure there's a lot of white in the center. So it really pops on the sky like that. One other thing you can do is with a sponge like this, very porous, you can pick up some white, remove the excess because I don't want excessive amount of white. And I can add some in, in here some of these trees okay so we can add some in here a little bit at the top there just just a little bit like that some at the front here not too much but just just enough to some brightness okay like that. Okay, my friends, the Christmas painting is done. I'm going to give you a close up. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you learn something new. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment below, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future content from me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.